and welcome to 2023's Vlogmas. I am Jess, I have the Acorn Cottage Knits podcast over here on YouTube. This is Arlo, this is Arlo's first Vlogmas, say hello, wave your paws and say hello. Right, so Arlo, if you watched the last podcast episode, is our new puppy. Um, he's very tired as you can see and I don't think he's really that keen on engaging with the camera. He has got eyes in there, they're just a bit fluffy at the minute so we can't see them. There we go. Right, I'm going to let him go before he gets grumpy. Go on then, off you go. Right, so as I was saying, welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Um, yes, I am sat here in my pyjamas. This wasn't going to happen if I had to look anywhere near presentable. I will be back. The dog has just gone somewhere he shouldn't. Right, so we might be on dog watch a bit. Um, it is about oh gosh, six o'clock in the evening on the 30th of November. And I thought I would just do a very quick vlogmas sort of introduction. Um, I've been trying to get bits of footage over the last morning or two because it's been really wintry outside and absolutely flipping freezing, uh, more to the point. Um, every piece of knitwear possible has been worn. I think from memory, I've definitely got one kind of proper clip that I have used as a sort of a title scene and I might just put some of the other ones in at the end because they look quite pretty. Um, but anyway, the purpose of today was to say hello, welcome to Vlogmas and to just do a little quick introduction to Advents um, because I will be starting to open them as of tomorrow and so I might as well show you what they look like, nice and boxed up. So you might as, might have picked up on the fact I said Advents, plural. I think I've been quite good this year. I bought one. So last year I bought two, won one and had a swap. Uh, and it was just too much of honest. So I bought one this year and we've got a swap with our knitting group. So I'm going to start with the one that I have bought. And it's here in its beautiful box. Um, it's not showing up very well with the light and I think that um, the writing might be back to front anyway. But this is the Adventures in Yarncraft advent. It came with a nice pink ribbon around it, which is not enough because obviously I had to have a look inside. So there we go. Um, so I got the project bag and a Christmas day skein. And then there are all of the beautiful, beautiful minis that are in there. I'm so excited for this, honestly. The fact I've not opened the project bag has taken every bit of restraint that I've had. Um, I know quite a lot of people who've got that one and boarded the bag have opened it and they've said it's really pretty and I cannot wait to see it but I'm being really good and waiting till the first to open that. Um, so yeah that is Adventures in Yarncraft and it's a Jane Eyre theme. So just excuse me reaching across, not very well prepared for this clearly. Um, Along with having the advent, there is a read-along. Um, this is my tiny Jane Eyre. You can probably see compared to the size of a hand. Um, so my nice tiny book. I'm not reading this copy. I just have it out because it's pretty and shiny and it makes good photos. I've got a bigger copy as well and I'm reading that. So we started on 17th of November with, yeah, with reading. So it's a chapter a day. There were more chapters than days in Advent, so we started early, basically. Um, I think I've got, I'm nearly up to date. I've got, I think, two pages, maybe. Two pages, two chapters to catch up on. Um, but generally, I'm trying to keep up with that. Jane Eyre is one of my all-time favourite books. So, yeah, I am enjoying reading that. I can't wait to open it. I don't know yet what I'm going to make with it. Um, I, from memory, I think it's a fade, so uh, do leave your comments down below as to your favourite fade advent patterns. Um, tell us, once you've chosen your advent, obviously that's a big choice in the first place, but after that, it's so flipping hard trying to actually choose what to make with it. Um, so we'll see where that one goes. And then we've got the swap. Uh, and look at that beast. So, it's, I mean, it's so stuffed full of goodies that it's literally it's sellotaped closed and that's bursting open so I'm actually going to just take that off now and get rid of that sellotape. 
So you can probably tell it's designed to look like a book. Uh, some book pages down the edge. So this is from one of my friends in my knitting group. So as I've mentioned before on the podcast, or I appreciate if you're watching vlogmas, you may not have seen the podcast before. Um, I am part of a knitting group called The One With The Knitting Friends. Um, we're in our second full year of doing it. And so last Christmas we did a swap. We all just got paired up and swapped. We've done the same this year. So I have been paired with Lindsay. And Lindsay does have her own podcast as well. I will try and remember to link that down below. Um, if I forget, then Lindsay, I'm really sorry. Um, it's a Thursday night and my brain is scrambled, but I will do my best to link it. Um, but I'm sure I will mention her again at some point anyway. So we have swapped five grams for every day. And this is everything gorgeous. So there's a card which I haven't opened yet and an absolute monster for the day one. That is all day one. Lindsay, I don't know what you've put in there, but I mean, taking that out and the whole thing weighs considerably less. So that is very exciting. I'm looking forward to opening that. And there's even a little something in for Arlo. He will love that. So thank you, Lindsay. And thank you, Milo, for those. Um, so that is our knit group swap. Now, my plan with that one is to make the... I'm going to look it up. I will be back. So my plan with the swap, with it being five grams, is to do the Simply Scrappy Cowl, which is a Helen Stewart design, and I'm just seeing. Uh, so that, hopefully you can vaguely see that is what it looks like. So it's um, Helen Stewart, so she's curious how made, and she's done things like the anthology throw. This pattern was available earlier in the year for free. So it uses five grams a day and I thought, why not? It'd be nice to use the swapped minis in a project together. So that is my plan for that. So I need to dig out the needles and I'm going to vaguely try and keep up with that for each day of Advent. Um, if I need to do a bit of catching up, I need to do catching up, that's fine. But that is the plan for the swap. And finally, this is not an Advent or anything, but it will be some advent knitting. Um, so I am planning to join in with the mystery gnome knit along. Um, imagined landscapes, I was going to say imagined handmade, now I'm muddling the two up. So imagined landscapes does the gnome alongs and I'm going to join in. It's called Snow Matter What, I think. Yeah, they've all got like puns and play on words in them, but I think that's what it's called. And I th think these are going to be my colours. So I've got an orange and a white, which the instructions say you should have. Then it says I have a dark colour, so I've got, I mean, it's a bit more variegated than I might potentially have liked. I don't know why I'm going to blur the cameras up here now. Um, and it's probably not going to focus very well on that, but some dark ready maroony colours. And then a nice bread turquoise, it's got kind of little specks of brown in. So those, I think, are the colours I'm going to go for. However, I've not weighed any of them yet. These were all wound up already in my kind of scrappy stash. I went through a phase of buying a lot of minis. So my other options are these ones. This is like a, that's looking way too blown out. It's more of a greeny teal colour um, and then more of a dark purple. Um, I think, I think the dark purple is too small and I'm just not entirely sure what the base of that TV one is because it looks more, more different. It looks different compared to the other ones. I think these will be the safe options. I am going to weigh them all tonight just to make sure because you pretty much need 20 grams of each, I think. I could be making that up. Maybe you don't need 20 grams of all of them. I don't know. I've not made one of the gnomes, but that is my other advent knitting plan. I've got a couple of bits to finish off. I've got a pair of socks and a jumper for a one-year-old. Um, so obviously the jumper's not going to be massive. Um, sorry, my watch is giving me notifications. So I need to finish those bits um, this side of Christmas. Other than that, Vlogmas is... So it's not going to be daily. Absolutely not. Um, number one, I don't really have the time for that. And number two, you would be bored out your brain 
I have a nine to five, half five job. Um, I don't have time to do a lot before I go to work and I come home and sit on the sofa and knit. I will try and do bits during the week, but it's not always going to be exciting, so it's not worth filming and editing and messing around with all of that. So where there are fun bits to do, I will do. I'm going to aim for at least every weekend. If it doesn't happen, uh, I mean, obviously if I'm filming on a weekend, it'll probably be early the following week that I actually post it. Um, but I'm aiming for every weekend. If the bits in the week that are worthwhile, I can either do an extra one or merge it in with that weekend. And we'll just see how it goes. So it's going to be super relaxed and not too busy. I want to have time to watch other people's vlogmases as well. So hopefully you will be along to see uh, the next instalments and see how I'm getting on with some of those projects. I'll obviously show you some of the things I've opened. Um, can't wait for tomorrow morning, get those goodies opened. I am sure Arlo will be back a lot. Um, hopefully less sleepy. He's currently... Um, I don't think I can show you without showing you the state that this room is in, so ignore that. But he's lying on the landing, fast asleep. Um, he's been at doggy daycare today and he has such such a good time, runs around the place with all the other dogs, comes home and is absolutely flat out. So that I think is the end of this sort of waffly bit. Um, I need to go make some dinner and I'm going to go and finish watching a Christmas film that I started last night. Let me know your favourite Christmas films as well because I want to fit as many in as possible uh, whilst I'm getting my knitting done. So I will leave it there. I will maybe pop in a few more of those um, kind of scenic pictures of the nice frosty mornings and I will see you again soon. Happy knitting and happy Vlogmas!